The foundation wall, according to the foundation plan, would take on a rectangular shape. This is the portion of the foundation wall that we will be focusing on for the project. According to your front elevation in your construction documents, the foundation wall will go from the top of the footing, which is indicated by the dashed line here. The foundation wall goes from the top of the footing up to the finished floor one. You will select the Modify button in your ribbon. In the Project Browser, you will need to make sure that the TOF, or Top of Footing, floor plan level is active. To make sure that it's active, you will double click on it. In the Properties for the TOF level, you will need to make sure that for underlay you want to make sure that you can see the finished floor one. This will give you a reference that you can use to draw the walls for the foundation or the substructure. So you want to turn on the finished floor one as an underlay by clicking on it. When you select it, you want to click on Apply. This should allow you to see the finished floor one or the exterior walls for finished floor one in the drawing area. You will select the Modify button in your ribbon. Make sure that the top of footing floor plan level is activated. In the properties for the top of footing floor plan, you will need to scroll in the properties until you find the extents section of the properties dialog box. You will need to, in the extents section, locate the view range option. Beside view range, you will need to select the edit button. In the View Range dialog box, you will need to change the View Depth to say Unlimited. Click on Apply and OK. This will allow you to see the foundation wall objects that you are about to lay out for the substructure of the building. Now you are ready to lay out the exterior foundation walls for the building. To do so, you will need to select the Structure tab. In the Structure section of the ribbon, you will select the Wall tool. And you will select Wall structural. In your properties, you will need to make sure that you select the stacked wall foundation 4 inch brick on 10 inch CMU. Since the wall takes on a rectangular shape, we will use the rectangle tool to construct the foundation walls. So we will select rectangle, bring our cursor to the bottom left corner of the exterior walls for the superstructure, click, drag up into the right, and click again.
we want to make sure that our that the exterior or the outside of the wall is actually on the exterior side. The way we do this is using our cursor, select one of your walls, and you will see the double arrows appear. If the double arrows are on the inside of the wall, you will need to click on the double arrows to change the wall orientation. So if your double arrows are on the inside of the wall, you will need to select the double arrows to change them to make sure they're on the outside. You will need to do this for all of the walls. The next modification we will need to make for our exterior foundation walls is to make sure that the base constraint and the top constraint are correct. To do this, you will select one of your walls. When you select one of the walls, the properties box should provide you with information about the base constraint and the top constraint of the wall. The base constraint should be at top of footing or TOF. The base offset should be at zero feet, zero inches. Your top constraint should be set to finish floor one and the top offset should be at zero feet, zero inches. You wanna select apply and you want to do the same thing for the other three walls. So I'm going to click on one of the walls, hold my control key and select the other two. And I will make the same changes of the base constraint being at TOF, the base offset zero feet, zero inches, The top constraint will be set to finish floor one, and the top offset is zero feet, zero inches. So these changes will apply to the three walls that have been selected. So once I make those changes, I will click on apply. Now, what you will need to do next is to make sure that the foundation wall is aligned properly with the exterior wall. So the foundation wall in the substructure will need to be properly aligned with the exterior wall in the superstructure. To do this, you will use what is called a wall section you will locate or select, you will select the view tab in the create section of the view ribbon, you will select section. In the properties, you will select wall section. You will go into the drawing area and click outside of the foundation wall. You will do a left mouse button click and click outside the foundation wall. Drag the cursor to the right and click inside the exterior wall. Once you have done that, if you look in your project browser, when you scroll in your project browser, you will see an area called sections, and it's identified as wall sections. If you click on the plus to expand it, you will have one that says section one. This is the wall section that you have just created. 
So double click on section one. This will show you the foundation wall and the exterior wall in the superstructure. You will change your scale to one inch equals one foot. You will change your detail level to medium. This will allow you to see the components that make up the exterior and foundation wall. Now what you want to do is align the exterior wall with the foundation wall. Over to the right you should see some zoom options. If you click on the triangle pointing down and select zoom in region, you're going to take your cursor and click to the bottom left, drag up to the right and click in order to be able to better see the exterior wall and foundation wall. You want to line up the face of the brick between the exterior wall and the foundation wall. To make that alignment, you want to select your Modify tab. In the Modify section of the ribbon, you will have a command that is labeled Align. You will select the Align command. In your preferences, you want to align the wall faces. Your first selection will be the face of the brick on the exterior wall in the superstructure. So you will select the face of the brick in the exterior wall then your second selection will be the exterior of the brick in the foundation wall. You should see the foundation wall move to the exterior wall in the superstructure. Once you see that, you will click on the lock to lock those two walls in place. In your project browser, you will go back to the floor plan view and specifically the top of footing floor plan view by double clicking on TOF. You want to take your section view and move it over to the right side of the building. In your project browser, you will go back into the wall section and activate section one. And you will go through the same operation to align the foundation wall to the exterior wall in the superstructure. Again, in your modify tab, in the modify section of your ribbon, you will select the Align tool. You will, again, your preferences will be set to wall faces. Your first selection will be the exterior wall in the superstructure. Your second selection will be the exterior wall in the foundation wall. You should see the foundation wall move to the exterior wall in the superstructure and you will lock that alignment. Next you want to align the two horizontal walls. So you will need to go back to the floor plan views, specifically the top of footing. Double click on it. You will go to your view tab 
in the create section of the ribbon, you will select section. You will create a wall section view. We will click outside of the foundation wall or above the foundation wall. Drag the cursor inside the exterior wall. In your project browser, you now will see in the wall sections area, one indicated is section two. You will double click on section two to make it active. You will change your scale to one inch equals one foot. You will change your detail level to medium. Again, this is so you can see the components in the two walls. Over to the right, I'm going to use my zoom options, zoom in region. To highlight those two walls. Then I'm going to go to the modify tab. I'm going to go to the align tool. My preferences will be set to wall faces. Click on the wall face or the face of the brick in the exterior wall in the superstructure first. Then click on the face of the brick in the foundation wall. And lock those two walls. I'm going to go back to the floor plan view move the section 2 to the two horizontal walls at the bottom go to my wall sections and go to section 2 again and align these two walls The function of the exterior foundation wall is to support the exterior walls in the superstructure. After aligning your foundation wall to the exterior walls in the superstructure, you will go to your project browser and activate the top of footing floor plan view. So double click on the TOF floor plan view. In the properties for the TOF floor plan view, you will change underlay. You will change that to say none. Click on apply. So in this view, the only thing you will see are the exterior foundation walls in the substructure. 